<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Money Pit Homestead. My name's Donald in case you don't know and uh, well I'm down here uh, feeding again. We got uh, the chickens over here eating some of their chicken. The reason I put it in such a big bowl and mixed it is because uh, there's a project Lisa was doing and there's a bunch of whey left over uh, from uh, a project she had today. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And uh, I wanted to get it mixed with her feed. So there's almost a, about a half of a two and a half gallon bucket of whey in there. So anyway, thought that was a little interesting what she did there. But uh, I told you all the next time I go in, I've done fed. And then I thought, oh yeah, the camera's in there. I need to f film this if they'll do it again. So I'm going to uh, go in here with the pups and I want you to see how they react. It cracks me up every single time. So, y'all ready? Look at him. He just can't stand it, can you? You just gotta be petted and loved. Watch this. We'll walk out here. Look at that. <laughs> what y'all doing? Y'all got to do that out there so I can film you. <laughs> These two are crazy. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> it's hard to film you all. Yes, it is. It's hard to film you all. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Y'all nuts. Ow! Ow! You're not supposed to step on my hand. I was trying to get that bucket up thing. <laughs> Y'all just impossible to film. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I'll pet you too. Oh, yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Your water's over there. Got a nice little cabin in here. It's nice. Now... <laughs> y'all gonna let me leave or y'all gonna keep try to keep me here huh what are you gonna do what are you doing what you doing <laughs> y'all yeah. crazy all that jumping around and stuff What do you think? Gracie. There's Holly. Gracie's ears are darker. Holly's ears. They're not like the they're not they're still white, so. <laughs> oh, y'all look nuts. Anyway. Lisa had some projects she did today. Well, and uh, she went to uh, the Amish store, so she wanted to show off her uh, little uh, uh, Amish haul. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, let's see, what else? She made cheese. She made some more Kentucky Thunder Crackers. That's what she, her and Randy's calling them. And, uh, and so I like them that way. She did them a little different this time. Uh, but... Uh, they man, they are so good. The cheese she made already sampled it. It's really good, and I'm gonna put the pictures in here. Hello everyone. I am making something today. I got a recipe from a Living Tradition to make farm fresh cheese, and uh, it seems too simple 
and I don't understand why I've never made it before. All it takes is milk, vinegar, and salt, and I'm going to add some Thunder Flakes and some garlic powder to my recipe, and we'll see how it turns out. You also need um, a cheesecloth, uh, a drainer, and their recipe was calling for smoked salt, which I have uh, that going out on the, um, the grill right now. I've got a bowl of uh, sea salt smoking, but it takes four hours for it to smoke. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and make uh, one with just regular salt because he said it didn't matter what salt you use. So this uh, salt that I'm using in this recipe is going to be Himalayan salt. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, to me, I think this cheese will be really good with a little bit of uh, the Thunder Flakes in it and a little uh, bit of garlic. So I've got uh, my tablespoon of salt and um, a tablespoon of uh, pepper flakes, of the Thunder Flakes as we call it, uh, thanks to our friend Randy. And um, I have one teaspoon of garlic powder because I didn't know if uh, it would be too overwhelming because it doesn't really make a huge amount of cheese. In fact, I think this was the size bowl that they had and um, it looks like it's just like a little disc in there. So we'll see how it all turns out. So I didn't want to put too much um, garlic in it to overpower the whole uh, experience of the flavor of the cheese. So anyway, we'll see how this turns out. And, um, and we'll do a taste test later on and um, see how it all works out. I hope this turns out good because... Donald, Donald and I, we really do enjoy cheese. So, here we go. Also, I mentioned that I have uh, some sea salt in my smoker. And uh, it's not turned on. The only thing that I have in there... Let me see if I could show you. Oh, wow. Look at all that smoke. I've got that tube right there. Filled up with um, some flavored pellets. And uh, I lit that and for about five minutes so it could start smoking. And then I put a little um, pan of ch uh, cheese, a little pan of salt. Uh, like I said, this one is sea salt. And um, all we have to do is wait four hours and this should be done. And you could add that sea salt to any of your recipes to make a smoky flavor. So what do y'all think? Did she do a good job? I think she did a great job. I'm tickled to death the way everything tastes. That cheese is absolutely delicious and I'm looking forward to uh, everything she does with the rest of it. So uh, can't wait. So I'm going to go in here and uh, feed the chickens, carry on, see what I get done, see what I can film and uh, well, y'all follow along with me. Well, what would y'all think of... Uh, the uh, way the pups acted and uh, all the stuff Lisa uh, got from the Amish store and uh, the uh, the cheese and the crackers she made. Those, uh, <laughs> those uh, she made them a little different this time, uh, the crackers. Uh, she kind of did that on purpose. Uh, she wanted to see if she could uh, kind of change it, make it hers. And she did. Uh, she loves taking uh, recipes and stuff like that and uh, enhancing them and stuff like that and making them uh, different, making them her way. And uh, 
you just never know what she's going to come home and she's going to have. It was uh, funny how she's uh, smoked that salt. Man, I took a little pinch of that salt. And it's got a real good smoky flavor to it. Real good. Uh, so uh, we can put that in different recipes and stuff like that. She's got a few more ideas of things she wants to do and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to be uh, making some uh, pimento cheese uh, uh, later. And uh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make it here in a little bit and I'll put the picture of the pimento cheese in here. Well, what'd you think that looked like? I got news for you. It's creamy and good. It really is delicious. I, I like it. Uh, but uh, we're going to get off here now. And uh, when I uh, get this tank filled up <laughs> and uh, say uh, say good night because it's almost night now. Uh, I don't know how this looks on the camera, but uh, it's getting a little dark out here. So anyway, uh, it's getting darker and darker. I don't know how many more times I'll be able to how much longer I'll be able to do some filming at night. And uh, <laughs> I may have to do all the filming inside the barn. I don't know. But uh, anyway. So I hope you all like this video. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, Lisa's, uh, looking at Lisa's uh, stuff she uh, bought and made. And uh, look forward to uh, hearing you all. Leave us a comment what you think about it. And... Uh, well, it's, and oh yeah, and the pimento cheese I just made. And, well, I'll make here in a little bit when I get up there. I didn't just make it, but I will before I edit this video. And uh, anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, think we're eating pretty good around here. And uh, leave us a comment on uh, what you think. If you got any ideas of something you want made and see us make it, whatever. Uh, this weekend, hopefully. Uh, we'll be doing some smoking, so if nothing else, come back for the next video and watch us. Uh, I got uh, some pork bellies, baloney, and different things like that. And I even got a special idea I want to do on the uh, griddle. So, until next time, we'll see you. Oh, until next time, may God bless your days the way he always does ours. See ya.